In this video, we'll look at factorising into single brackets. To factorise, we look for a number which is a factor of all numbers in the expression. So in this expression, 5 is a factor of both 15 and 20. So we put 5 in front of the bracket. The next step is to divide all terms by this number and place the answers inside the brackets. So first we do 15x divided by 5, which is 3x. Next we divide 20 by 5, which is 4. So this expression can be factorised to 5 brackets 3x add 4. You can double check your answer by expanding. If factorised correctly, it should expand back to 15x plus 20. 5 times 3x is 15x and 5 times 4 is 20. I'm going to factorise six different examples now. If you'd like to have a go at expanding these yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here's the first example. 3y add 15. So first, we need to find a factor of the terms in this expression. 3 is a factor of both 3 and 15. So we put 3 in front of the brackets. Now we can divide our terms by 3. So first we do 3y divided by 3, which is y. Next we divide 15 by 3, which is 5. So this expression can be factorised to 3 brackets y plus 5. Here's the next example, 4w take away 6. So first we need to find a factor of the terms in this expression. 2 is a factor of both 4 and 6. So we put 2 in front of the brackets. Now we can divide our terms by 2. So first we do 4w divided by 2 which is 2w. Next, we divide minus 6 by 2, which is minus 3. So this expression can be factorised to 2 brackets 2w take away 3. Here's another example, 8m plus 16. So first, we need to find a factor of the terms in this expression. 8 is a factor of both 8 and 16. So we put 8 in front of the brackets. Now we can divide our terms by 8. So first, we do 8m divided by 8, which gives us m. Next, we do 16 divided by 8, which is 2. So this expression can be factorised to 8 brackets m plus 2. Here's the next example, 20b plus 30. So first, we need to find a factor of the terms in this expression. 10 is a factor of both 20 and 30. So we put 10 in front of the brackets. Now we can divide our terms by 10. So first we do 20b divided by 10, which gives us 2b. Next we do 30 divided by 10, which is 3. So this expression can be factorised to 10 brackets 2b plus 3. 
Here's another example, 18x minus 12. So first, we need to find a factor of the terms in this expression. 6 is a factor of both 18 and 12. So we put 6 in front of the brackets. Now we can divide the terms by 6. So first we do 18x divided by 6, which gives us 3x. Then we do minus 12 divided by 6, which is minus 2. So this expression can be factorised to 6 brackets 3x minus 2. Here's the last example, 21p take away 27. So first we need to find a factor of the terms in this expression. 3 is a factor of both 21 and 27. So we put 3 in front of the brackets. Now we can divide the terms by 3. 21p divided by 3 is 7p. Then we do minus 27 divided by 3, which is minus 9. So this expression can be factorised to 3 brackets 7p take away 9. Now it's your turn. Let's put your skills to the test with a challenge. Here is an expression. Your challenge is to factorise this expression. Remember the steps that we've covered to factorise an expression. Let me know your answer in the comment section 